Oh, what is up, boys and girls? Happy Saturday. Uh, we're here in the Hoonan Charger. This is not mine. It's actually Chase's car or somebody's car. I don't know. Chase or someone he's related to. I don't know. Anyway, uh, not mine. I'm just charging the battery up and move it. Uh, we're going to do a whole lot with this car. But anyway, uh, today's video is putting you know, an engine in a Camaro. Yeah. Um, you can just see I'm just dying with enthusiasm here. The Charger. That thing got a hemi? Yeah. Not much else. Battery keeps going dead. It's got every light in the dashes on. It, it matches everything else around here, so it fits in well. It was a former cop car, so it's a kind of Spartan, but it's a cool car. Wish I could afford it. I would buy it off them, but you know, I'm broke, so anyway. <laughs> Been a flight and a half. K members going back in now. Uh, engine transmission number one. Gonna put the motor mount back in it, been obviously, but struts are back up and we gotta tighten that side up. So, woohoo! Fun times. All right, motor mounts are in. Came okay, in back up. I gotta bolt the uh, sway bar back in. I'll probably do it tomorrow and start uh, put the crank position sensor in and then put the starter back on it. Then fish that header in and then see what kind of nightmare this header is gonna propose over here because I couldn't get that out with the motor in place last time and I'm scared to find out what's gonna evolve. I think the steering shaft has to come out. Sorry, I'm telling you the wrong way. But anyway, LQ4, 862 heads, sloppy stage three cam, uh, 600 lift springs. Should be okay in this car. And it's got a stock LF1 intake, so it's gonna be RPM limited as it is. So there we go. It's together. I'm so tired. But anyway, that was a fight. Uh, Yes, you have to take the K-member down. We kind of had that feeling when we got started today, we're gonna have to do it. And it proved to be very, very true. And it fought us for a good little while there. So we didn't do a lot of recording because you know, it's just up, down, and around. And it'd been really boring to watch. Well, it might've been entertaining, but some of the language would not have been YouTube friendly, nor would have been family friendly. So uh, it's in there. You see the bolts are in, the bolts in. All the bellhop bolts are in. Well, all the bellhop bolts are gonna get her in. <laughs> Enough to hold it from being in there. There's two here, two here, two there, one there. That's all we're putting in it. Y'all need more than that, y'all can put them in. But any uh, a lot of reassembly to go. A lot of reassembly to go. And I got to pull the injectors out of the intake with new injectors in. Oh, boy. Party. So, yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at on a POS race car. Hood's back on. Hood pins are actually in place and tight, unlike they normally have been for the last few years. So, we've made monster moves here. Oh, yeah. I mentioned Dude, earlier, I traded the Tahoe, and you probably don't know because I hadn't recorded a lot since then, but this is the Tahoe. I loved that thing. It was great. It was 09, 6L80. It towed really well. Towed my race car, no problem. Had a vicious tow haul mode in it. It was awesome. It felt it was 5,000 RPM uh, braking. It, it was a cool car, cool truck. Loved that thing. But I had posted a picture of it the other day on Facebook, and somebody asked me if I wanted to trade. Well, he didn't say if I wanted to trade. He said, Do you know anybody want to trade for a crew cab four drive half ton or a four wheel drive Tahoe? And I said, Yeah. I know somebody's got a four wheel drive Tahoe. So this is why I traded. 2002, 2500 HD, 6.0 liter, and that'd be a gas motor, okay? And it is two wheel drive, but. Look how nice it is. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's a nice little truck. I did paint the bow tie black. That's me. It's just as stock as it can be and just cool. And I'll show you the inside. It's got some dents here. You know, it's not perfect at all. But other than the normal thing there, but that is fixed at least. That there. You put the aftermarket radio in it. Sorry about the sun there. Uh, it had an aftermarket radio in it and it decided like crap. I put new door speakers in, I got scars in it, which ain't nothing to brag about. And then in the back here, I put my subwoofer, my little subby. I'm gonna pull it right here. See if I can get this to come down. There you go, there it is. And I got a little amp in there. So there we go. Got a bed liner and I'm gonna go ahead and put a bed cover on it. I may not do a toolbox on it. I may just do a container in the back and put a bed cover. I don't know, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know yet. Stock exhaust, that's the best part of it all. This thing is dead quiet and it's quite snappy. It's awesome. Love the crew cab life, it's cool. Love this truck, it's awesome. Yeah, I know, too bad it ain't four-wheel drive, but oh well, it does everything I need to do. I had a four-wheel drive Tahoe, you know how many times I took it in the mud? Yeah, that big.
exhaust system on this motor. Uh, didn't fuck with it this weekend. I'm sorry. Uh, I will come out during the week and I'll go ahead and put the valley cover in. I got the wires pulled up here. Got to tuck the O2 sensors wires away. Get the AC mounted. Get the alternator mounted. Then put the water pump on it. And we're pretty much home free at this point. Uh, it's going to need some new AC lines. Cause we got a few of them. That little brittle. When we got to start pulling on things, they did not live. So uh, we'll get those picked up. But getting closer on this thing. Getting that exhaust on was a complete nightmare. After we fought, drop the K member. Put the motor in, put the camera back in it. Uh, had to take and uh, undo this motor mount, pick this side of the motor up, cock at an angle, take the steering shaft out, get this header in. There was no other way for it to go in. This thing is a monstrosity to put in. So that ate a lot of time up, but it is all together, all bolted down now. So we got that going for us at least. So we did make progress, just not as much as we needed to make. But it do be like that sometimes. Right now, if the sun's super bright, we do have the front bumper on the car. It's completely unpainted. Uh, that's the way it came. I'll put some pictures here now so you can see it outside here as you see it. Back. the past, trying to get my hood pin welded so they don't flop around. Uh, yeah, apparently I grinded my rod onto that. And yeah, well, it's the old spot line to turbo. So now I'm going to do an oil change next weekend because I can verify the oil. It's definitely got a lot of E85 in it. A lot of E85 in it. And it's also back on E85. The 93 is out of it. It's that time of year again. It's go time. I've wanted to compression check the engine today. I don't think we'll get that far. I have no reason to think there's any problem with it, but during the week, I will come out here and I'll compression check it real quick to make sure it's good. So hopefully this 5.3 lives to season four and we don't have to spend a ton of money to get that uh, six liter block with the crank in it, the stroker crank. Hopefully we won't have to mess with that. Just keep it from backup for right now. I'd like to put it in there. I just need to buy the oil pan I want, the camshaft I want, the heads I'm not too worried about. I looked at putting uh, rectangle ports on it, but the intake's another grand or another high ram. So I don't know. At that point, it'd be cheaper for me to buy a set of aftermarket heads. So we'll probably just put aftermarket TFSs on it. So that's where we're going to go. But if something would happen where I think I need to pull the file three, I'll go ahead and pull it and just use what I got. But um, right now, I'm saving up wildly to buy a camshaft for that motor that goes to it. Worst case scenario, we'll just stuff what we have in there and go with it. But anyway, that's where we're at. We'll get this thing ready to go. I'm gonna put the hood on it now. You see there, uh, they had a panel on this car that lines up with the crap. I fiddled this thing all weekend. I am so over it. But anyway, it's there. It mostly looks right. It's close enough for this car. It's a complete pile of shit and we know it and we accept it. Uh, some of y'all don't know, but I do have nitrous oxide on this car and it's to spool it up when trying to get on the brake. I want to move that tank to back here somewhere. I'm gonna make room. I got rid of one of my batteries. I want to Move a few more things. I'll make room for that tank to sit in here. It's probably going to go right here. So I need to get another extension and bring it in here. So one is when it's in here. It's supposed to have a blow down tube. I don't want to put that money into it. And I'm going to do that. Then I'll buy a purge kit for it. So I can purge it and get it to the right level. So I know when I go to put it on the brake, I don't get random amounts of nitrous. But uh, that's small things. Other than those two small things there, like the oil change, I need to go put new plugs in it. It's not stumbling or anything. But as for cost, these are plugs from last year. They ran with pump 93 in it now for two months. So, so if we put it back on the 85, let's go ahead and yank those plugs out and move the nitrous bottle. And this, due to compression check, and this motor should be ready to live out. And at some point, we'll put that in. But the clock's ticking. It's time for this car to go do something. So we're going to get after it here for long. Look at the old truck living there with the bed cover on. It's looking cool as shit. So that's where I'm at now. Uh, I'll put this together with everything I had previous, so you'll see all that first. And that's where I'm at, and I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it is what it is, and I'm not going to ramble, so we'll catch you on the next one. Another day, it. we're out here uh, putting the valley cover on. We're going to do the alternator and AC compressor, and see if we can get some plugs in it, and go from there. Heidi, 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 Heidi. What's up, boys and girls? Happy Sunday. Uh, got a buddy's block here. He was cam swapping his old Tahoe there, and worst thing in the world that could ever happen happened to him. Let me shut you here real quick. Oh, my back hurts. Uh, had to tell him the bad news. The motor's got to come out, but can't bear. It was bad. He had a bad, bad day. But anyway, he got the motor out. It's up here. We got some new can bearings. We're going to knock them in them, and we'll put the thing back together. All it is is a, a daily driver engine. Uh, he don't know exotic bills, so we're not going to go crazy with it. Got new can bearings in it. The, the main bearings look fine. Rod bearings are kind of questionable. I'll see if I have some. Got dirt in my face. Can't take me nowhere. And then uh, we'll see if they can get this thing back together. He's got his head there, his camshaft there. So we'll go through all this, hopefully. Uh, but first, first, let me get the cam bearings. Right the cam bearings. 
number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. I didn't pull them out and verify those numbers. The only thing I would have they'll tell you the order they go in. Kind of follow that because none of these are the same size. Well, some of these are the same size, some of these aren't. And you can see that bore right there is a little questionable, but I think it was enough aid out that it didn't hurt it. Without miking it, there's only one way we're going to find out. The hard way. The hard way. It's going to be a tough pill to swallow if it don't work for them. But it is what it is. Fast. So anyway, I had to order bearing for it because the can bearings I had ain't going to work. So I had to order them. Check, no one has them to stop. So anyway, we're going to hit this 6.2 liter bar. Okay, okay. But the daily 85 motorcycles go by. Anyway, let's get these uh, rockers off here. Cool thing about 6.2s are that offset so those are cool anywho let's, let's uh go ahead and get this side done we're gonna pull the heads and everything off this thing plugs all flip side down we're gonna take the bottom end loose too just to see what it's like because uh we have plans for this he said nah, i bought this engine for somebody i don't really know him but he's friends of friends of friends so but you can see the lifter is actually pretty new they're uh, not of a brand that i'm wanting to run but they actually look like they're in good condition. You can see that's wear marks. You can see they ran new trays. Uh, piston look good on this side. No damage here. You see it was making a funny noise. We're 98% sure it's in the bottom end. Uh, this engine is my engine now, okay? So this is, uh, it's not an LS3. Originally it came out of an SUV, but it wound up with LS3 heads on, or the same head as the LS3 and supposedly has an LS3 camshaft in. So if I slip and call it an LS3, please forgive me. It's actually an not an L99, that's in the Camaro. I don't know what it is. L90s, whatever, who cares? Uh, but it's a 6.2 liter, obviously aluminum block. And you see it, most of that wipes right off. So that's good stuff. We're gonna make sure that it's actually put together correctly and it doesn't have any issues. So we're gonna pull that side off and then we're going to flip it over and start pulling things. We're gonna pull, take that side off and we'll pull this cover here, pull that. Pull the oil pump off of it, take the camshaft out of it, flip it upside down, and start pulling the bottom end out of it. Because one, it needs a bath really bad. And just to see what it needs, and so we know what to buy, because we got plans for this motor. We've got big plans for this motor. Well, medium plans in my world, but big plans. Yeah. Oops, sorry. That is an LS3 cam. I just verified off LS1 tech, so there we go with that. So, all right. We got that front and single bolt cam. That ain't going to do me no good. But anyway, so that's all off. Now, so let's flip this thing over and let's uh, see what's well, making the noise. That's gonna be fun, fun, fun. There's fun. your problem. You see, that, you gotta get that one. These were stuck to the crank. That is really stuck, stuck. So let's just chip it off there. Yeah. Good thing I wasn't planning on using this crank. Really good let's thing. Clip this on. There we go. To your left is number one, and to your right is number two. They're chooched, boys and girls. They are chooched. Many days later, cam bearings are all knocked in. Throw some pictures here. Alrighty, and we're knocking the rods and pistons in. We've got uh, four, six. So we've got two more to go. Yeah, well, I just look right there and told you two. But anyway, we've got two more to go. Then we'll, uh, whew, I think I'll flip it up right and put his camshaft in so I can do his, uh, all his lifters and stuff. So that's all cleared off my table. And then uh, I'll flip it back upside down. Do the front cover, the oil pan. I'll have to swing it to get the rear cover on. So the oil pan I won't tighten down all the way. So the front cover will be loose, and the oil pan will be loose, but at least the uh, pickup will be in place and the oil pump will be in place. Those can go tight as long as the windage tray. And then when I pick it up, I can put the rear cover on, get it lined up where it goes, and then cinch all this other stuff down. So that'll probably be one of the last thing I'll do. I'll probably tighten this up, this up, and that up last, and I'll flip it up, put the heads on it. And once the heads are on it, I put the valve train on it, and it's pretty much done. So hopefully you can pick it up today to go. Cause I'm tired. I remember where I left off at with the uh, tick performance truck cam stage one, I think. I don't know. Let's see here. I don't know. This one right here. That one right there. You know that one. I mean, you can't see no number hole in there. There we go. There we go. There, there it is. is. So, so it's just a basic truck cam in. It's a Gen 4. It's not a full rebuild. It's got new bearings in it and uh, has trying to update rockers. 7, uh, 7 4, uh, uh, whatever it is. Yeah, 7 400. Push rods, it's got uh, tick lifters in it, which is a Morel rebrand. And I don't know what springs, but they're new. And the heads were decked by somebody else, but they weren't cleaned, but they were decked. So there's that. Was ready to go. Yay! That. So let's see what we get into now. I don't know. The videos have been so helter skelter lately. I don't know where I picked up where I left off. So I might wait until I edit it. So there'll probably be a lot of double stop. Anyway, Gen 453 went away. 
Uh, all I did to it was put cam bearings in it, and then I gave him some new cam and main bearings because his first motor. We didn't check nothing in that motor for him, so it wasn't a rebuild at all. Uh, he still had the original dumbbell in it. He had some, uh, his DOD towers were not plugged off. He had some fancy covers, supposed to block them off. Uh, so long story short, he's got some figuring out to do because he's still suffering from low oil pressure. He went from having no oil pressure to low oil pressure. It has a Melling 295 pump on, that's what he bought, that's what he got. He probably need to put a 335 on it. But anyway, let him sort all that crap out on his own because like I said, I discharged him the parts and I didn't charge my labor so I got no deal on that but anyway as some of y'all also don't know here is uh the car got painted recently I'm not sure if we covered that but there it is we are to wash it it's dirty as hell this first bath after being painted it's been under this color now for about two weeks so hell yeah it's not be a little bit longer yeah I got clean up fuel filters out I fear I was gonna have to do that it's that uh way too long in between intervals so they tend to clog up luckily they're uh mesh and I've got stuff to do it so we'll get on that that's one thing I want to check before I actually decide to go back running it again. Uh, got fresh plugs in it. Uh, it. It runs really good. Just when the fuel pressure drops, it that's the problem. I already know what it is. It's got full of fuel. I just topped that off. Uh, it's got plenty of pump. I had plenty of pump last year. Same motor, same turbo. So all the same. So, And usually when it does that, that is the fuel filters. I got three of them. So maybe get to scrub a dub dub dub. And there you go. You can see her all her glory. Uh, not even sure I even covered the fact that I had a new front bumper on it. It's five glass. So it's lighter and it's way, way cooler than Swiss cheese one. There it is. Still fine, still fine, still fine. Gotta give them the hands wave too when you do it, okay? <laughs> so we're splatter painting now. This, this is a good. This is a good time. I miss this. I really do. Any oozles? What you look like when he's done? I think. How many more colors on top of that, sir? Huh? How many more colors you can put on that? Probably just this. Oh come on, man! You gotta put something else on it. Oh. You do. I haven't really started looking tacky. No, that one you did uh, with the white background had uh, fucking blue and uh, some other, like a gray color on it. It was army green. There you go. Black. We got army green. I got army green. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Rub it in. It's supposed to this, this hand's fine. Try to paint off my goddamn hand. So you get a rag and wipe it off. Day 675. I haven't been recording today, but. The bottom end's all in. The temporary camshaft's in place. That's just to hold it in, so I put the lifters in because you know you can change the uh, camshaft to LS after the fact. So I don't have my permanent cam for this motor, so I just put one in place. So I go get the lifters in, so I get the heads on it and all that good stuff. But right now, I get the, let's put the oil pan on. There it is. Get over there, gasket. Got the new pickup on it. It's a M295 pump. Might change that out too later. It's a temporary know. front cover. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I can seal it up. Definitely a temporary top cover. Not run the factory one. Uh, still got to put the plugs in for the top of the DOD. That's easy as hell. And uh, like I said, I got to get my permanent cam, not the temporary cam. But as you can see, this is a, I don't know if I've told y'all, but I'm sure there you go, 6.2 liter and we're going rectangle pork. So let's see what it can make. I don't know. It ain't got to make a lot to make that go because that don't weigh much. It's a little fat, but it's okay. But anyway, uh, there it is. You'll hear me use the word LS3. This is probably not a true LS3. Uh, because one has a DOD on top of it, so, you know, that would be an LS3. I'm not an LS3 aficionado, so it's basically 6.2 liter to me. Uh, there's a number for it. Can't remember it. L96? No, that's not it. L76? No, that's not it. L99? Could be. Could be, but that'd been in a Camaro. Uh, or it could have come out of a truck. Who knows? Doesn't really matter for us. Uh, it's got 823 heads on it, which I do know that's not the LS3 head, if I'm correct. That's just a work term important means it's... Valves are a tiny, 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 minuscule bit different. 
for what we're going to do. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal because we're not going to lean on it that hard. So there it is. Like I said, we'll get it together the rest of the way. I just want to get it mocked up so everything's sealed up and the morals didn't get dirty or anything. So there it is. And uh, we'll carry on. Like, not the wrong right button. Darn it. Trying to leave here and take a picture, but duh, here we are today with a video again. Sorry. No new updates. Catch you on the next one, boys and girls. Peace and chicken grease. We have Knowles here in a 5.3 oh, and something out there. So if you've been on this channel before, you know where this is going. Something's getting a hole in the fender and getting sold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know, uh, uh, yeah, he's got to get this on a stand and pull the cam out. I swear to me, they doesn't need cam bearings. <laughs> don't look at them. That's all you got to do. I'm just, just telling you, at them. when you pull the cam out and they're stuck to the camshaft, you'll know what's up. Hey man, it spins too nicely to be talking like that. I know. Let's find out, okay? It's, it's like butter, okay? Almost like there's no bearings at all in there. Shut up! <laughs> Stop, let me back out. There we go. Okay. Well, that's probably not even better. Stop this video. Fresh oil in the uh, piece of shit car. Clean that filter. Clean both filters back here. Uh, found a piece of fuel line that had a nick in it. I'm replacing it now. And I'm also doing an oil change on the wife's Arcadia. Arcadia, not Arcadia. Arcadia. There's Knowles' uh, 5.3. It doesn't have a rotating assembly in it at all. It doesn't have a camshaft. So he's got a long way to go with that, but he got a little truck. Uh, he's got dreams and hopes of putting a five-speed or whatever the hell that uh, AR5, yeah, five-speed out of it. Gets a Colorado or something in it. I don't know. We'll see how that pans out. But anyway, this car has got a date at uh, Luck of the Draw next weekend for Clifton Clawdale. So uh, we got to get it ready. So get our fuel line fixed. Fill it full of fuel. Uh, Fuel. I checked the transmission, it's full, and uh, yeah, I think we're good. We already drained the uh, puke tank last week, so it should be good there. Uh, we'll probably do a spool test on it just to make sure it comes up and doesn't lose fuel pressure because the other day when I drove it, it started dropping and I never cleaned the fuel filters. That one was incredibly dirty. These were marginal. I had to clean them recently. That one, I, I skipped the uh, service in, so yeah, when I get around 6,500 RPM, it would start losing fuel pressure, and I knew what that was, so. Get that done, and we'll check it out real quick and see if it's good. Uh, then obviously we'll get the, uh, the truck hooked to the trailer for next weekend. I won't put this on the trailer, obviously, because it sits out in the open, so it'll sit here, then we'll get ready. And uh, just go over some notes and bolts in it, make sure everything's cool. Checked everything under the hood so far, it's good there. Check our control arms and everything. Check our shock adjustments and all that good crap, and go from there.